Hello, Mike here. Happy New Year. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm using my mobile device, which is an Android, on my computer and how I'm able to use the mouse and keyboard and the speakers and the, my glorious big screen to actually control my mobile device. And the tool that I'm using is an app called, or not an app, it's, a, it's an application for a Windows device called Screen Copy. You can find it on GitHub and it's under Genie Mobile forward slash screen copy. And the title says display and control your Android device. So this little tool, it's free of charge, it's open source. And it's very well maintained, and it seems to have a very large um, community behind it. And it's a fantastic little app. You can do all sorts of things with it. The website goes into a lot of detail on all the different features. It's also, um, it allows you to access your devices through wireless. I haven't really tried that yet. I've just been doing it with a um, cable attached. Apparently, the cable is a lot quicker than through wireless. And I've been using it in demos and videos to show off certain applications that I've been wanting to share with everybody. But um, one of the prerequisites is that you need an Android device running version 5 and above. And version 5 is quite an old version of Android. I think we're on version 13 or 14 um, at the time. So it's great to see um, an application like this that supports multiple versions of Android. Um, what you can do is you can download it from Get the App and you can see it also supports Linux and Mac OS. I went for the Windows version and it's got two zip files. One's a 64-bit and one's a 32-bit. Since I've got Windows 11, I've opted for the 64-bit version. Um, what it does, it just extracts directly to your PC. So here are all the files. And all I did was create a shortcut that points to the executable and I dropped it on my desktop and on my taskbar. Now, before you run the app, you have to do a few things. And one of them is enabling USB debugging. So on an Android, that's a simple thing to do. You just go to your, your settings and um, you can do a search for USB debugging and it's found under use developer options. Now on Pixel phones, which is what I've got, the developer options is turned on by default. And there's a whole bunch of options in developer that can be turned on and off. But the thing that you want to be doing is going to debugging and turning on USB debugging. That's the, the connectivity option that allows this connection to the computer to work. Now, if this was off, and, or let's just say you couldn't find USB debugging, USB debugging or developer options, then what you need to do is go to, there's a manual here or a little link, it says, enable USB debugging and you open this link and it explains how you will find the, um, the developer options. Now, as I said, a Google Pixel, it's on by default, but other phones like a Samsung Galaxy or an LG, you need to go to the build number. And when you're at the build number, you will tap on the build number a number of times with your finger. So, for example, here is build number, and if I'm tapping on it, you can see there's a message saying, no need, you're already a developer. But if you weren't a developer, then you would be tapping this at least seven times, and then it would enable the developer options. And then all you would do is you'd go back to the search bar, and you would search developer options, and you would find it. And then you'd scroll down to USB debugging, and you'd turn it on. And once it's on, you will just run the little screen copy executable and it'll open up your phone on the screen. And the advantages of doing this is just 
tenfold. I mean, if you want to give a demo of anything, of a software, imagine you had a lovely big screen in a lecture hall. You could now just plug this in, run this little software, and show off the features of whatever little application um, you're wanting to show. As a developer testing software, this is a brilliant way of just showing something on the screen. Um, and as I say, for somebody who's done YouTube videos where they want to show off some features of an app. So, for example, I was showing off this um, MyValent app recently, like really delving into the, the menus. And yeah, I can use my mouse and I can literally use the back button or um, the scroll wheel. I can I can do all sorts of things by just controlling the the mobile phone using my mouse or my keyboard and it's fantastic so let's say for example I want to create a note um, I can go into text so let's say I'm in notepad now now I can use my keyboard I can actually go to the title click with my mouse type in this is a test or test one two three and I can now start typing on my keyboard hello world I don't even need to use the keyboard that is appearing on the screen. But let's just say I did want to use the keyboard because it's nice and small and it's compact and, and I'm used to it. This is Gboard, which supports swiping. So again, I can just swipe the letters rather than type them. So it would be as if I was doing this using my finger. And of course, it doesn't stop me from not using my finger. I can use my finger right here as well. So it's a brilliant feature that I can use the keyboard, the mouse, my finger, and all these different options. Another thing that's of benefit is let's say you like games. Well, now you've got the games in full screen mode. It's fantastic. You don't need to look at your tiny little screen. You can just do everything on the, on the desktop. So yeah, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. There's a ton of features on this website that you can switch on and switch off. They even give you examples of how you can run this with all the different parameters. And um, yeah, I would I'd highly recommend you start reading through some of these things that you can do. You can like you can control different types of mouse and how you want your mouse to react and um, like you don't want hover. Yeah, it's it's incredibly powerful, incredibly powerful. So. So yeah, so this is a mobile phone. Now let's say, for example, you've got another type of Android device, and I just happen to have a new Android device that I've bought recently, and that is a Onyx Books um, Go 10.3 e-ink notepad. Bit of a mouthful, but um, again, because this is an Android device, I just need to load it. Um, here it is on the screen right now. So again, I could be giving a demo to um, people. Let me just bring it back in here. And I'll just open up a blank text here. Now this is a this is for note taking, but using a keyboard. Now you can see at the bottom here, the keyboard is automatically popped up, but I don't even need to access this keyboard. I can actually close it if I wanted to and go in here and well I think I have to, it just pops up automatically but I can start typing using my keyboard and I've got the mouse option at the bottom here which gives me different options like let's say I want to start typing now so I can just say hello world from here and I'm using the stylus now and there it is it's appeared and the thing with the stylus is there's little gestures and commands that I can do with the um, stylus. So let me just undo that and I can do spacebar. How are you doing? And there you go. So for demo purposes, it's very useful. Um, on this device, where I had to enable USB um, debugging, I'll show you. 
um, here it is yeah usd bug but let me go back to the main screen you find it under apps on the hamburger menu at the top here app management and right at the top you can turn on or off um, usb debug mode now if you turn it off this whole thing switches off then i have to reload um, the screen copy after i've enabled usb debug on the tablet so just bear that in mind if you close it down you need to rerun the screen copy in order to get it back and then there it'll work so yes just bear in mind as well this only works with android devices so if you've got a e-ink device i don't know maybe a remarkable for example i don't think that has android on it behind the scenes it's its own operating system but um, if you have an Android device, obviously you can run Android apps, and then this is this thing just comes into its own. It's it's absolutely fabulous. But because it's got um, Android, you can do all sorts of things with it. So that is um, Screen Copy, as I say, a very useful um, application for Windows, Linux, and Macintosh and um, a great way to get your Android device onto your computer screen. Anyway, I will leave the video there. If you've liked this video, please give me a, um, a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, not many people have subscribed yet. I see a lot more people on non-subscribers than subscribers. And if you have any comments, please do leave a comment. Um, and let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the new year.